it is election day today and my best friend and I are gonna what <laughs> I was gonna say my best friend and I are gonna election together but my best friend and I are gonna vote together I am going to make a latte would you like to see the process I'll take you along this machine right here was my very first machine that I worked on like a month later uh, I started working as a barista this machine, I'm trying to learn. A lot more people have Breville. And so what I'm trying to do is learn it so that I could teach it at the coffee shop. Shall we make some coffee? I'm gonna get this cup. Some flavor to it. Which one am I feeling today? I really like the sugar-free hazelnut lately, but my favorite sugar-free is the sugar-free um, Irish cream. Should I go with a sugar-free pumpkin pie? No, I think I'm gonna go with hazelnut. Our roommate also likes sugar-free hazelnut. Oh, I also wanted to say thank you. This is gonna be the second episode of Outside the Coffee Shop series, but you guys had a really warm welcome with the first episode and I'm so thankful. Thank you guys. I know that it's not gonna be as popular as the Owning a Cafe series, which is totally understandable. I don't have extra pumps for this, but I'm just going to add probably 0.5 ounces. I really like cinnamon and hazelnut together too, so perhaps we can try that. Ooh, I added too much. Next, I like to have protein with my coffee because it just kills two birds and one stone. We also serve this at the shop. Now we're going to pull our shot. Uh, my machine has been heating up for 10 minutes now. I really enjoy using this Breville because it's so like user friendly. It is slow, but I don't really care. I also really like that everything is all together. Um, a tamping mat is really useful if you have granite. I don't want to damage your granite, so and I don't want to damage the portafilter too much. I just want it to be even, honestly. I think a lot of people put so much emphasis on puck press, which I understand it needs to be great. But you'll get a decent cup of coffee either way. Pretty good yield. Yum. Right now I'm trying to figure out my outfit. I really want to go for like a fall vibe. You can see up here, it's kind of a cool shot. Hi Raptors. Hi Matty. DJ punk this body. DJ punk this body. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> this is cute angle. We're about to go vote. Are you ready to vote? I'm ready to get my sticker. Me too. <laughs> Kaja. Right after the election of 2020, I became a citizen. And so I didn't get to vote. But this is my first time voting ever in my life. I'm a little nervous. First time voter. I mean, I'm not nervous, but I just don't want them to clap for me. Here we are, we're gonna vote. Well, I feel like you're experience, experiencing like the American like duty. Yeah. Like the duty of an American. I'm proud to be an American. Yeah. And then like you did jury duty. And now you're voting. Yeah. Like in the this span of what? 2024 is really my American year. Oh my gosh, we're almost here. Let's go vote. We're about to go inside. There it is. That's where we go in. We Georgia's. voted. Now we're going to Panera. Yes. The last vlog I ate, a, we also ate at Panera, but this time we're going to eat inside. Oh yeah. Because now it's open. We literally got the same meal. 
because it was so good. Did you want to commemorate your chips? Mustard? Your chips? Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Why does this look so different from the other one? I don't mm. know. It's so good. Really. Mm. Okay, we're gonna keep eating. <laughs> bye bye. We got Duncan just now. I got their. What is this? Cookie butter? Cookie butter, just regular latte. Cookie butter, regular latte, but this is with almond milk. And Sheena got iced white hazelnut coffee with oat milk. I mean, not to be biased because of our coffee shop but why does this taste like this why are you making people pay how much was this like four dollars five dollars yeah five dollars for a small okay Ugh. it's disgusting okay. i'm so sorry duncan but you have to do better why would i want to drink so tell me that i can't believe i have that in my mouth right now shall we cleanse it we also got donuts why does it look like this? Do better, guys. What happened? <gasps> I eat first. Yeah. Mmm, but it's so good. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> in fact, I used to work at Dunkin' when I was a senior in high school, and I became a mm. uh, I became a chef leader. Chocolate Munchkin. Cheers. 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 I just had to get rid of that flavor. Mm. <laughs> Honestly, this this tastes like Play-Doh to me, but something about it is good. <laughs> but that is my favorite donut. I also got a cookie butter donut, but I'm too full right now. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This one's a better latte. This one's a good latte, right latte? Are you a good latte? I can't believe I just voted. Oh, look at my nails, bro. It's embarrassing. It's okay, I'm gonna pick up something from Target later and I'll I'll uh, let you guys join in. I was sharing my thoughts on voting today because just as a background, I am from the Philippines and I moved here when I was 12 uh, and I'm also a college dropout because I never decided what I wanted to do with my life. Uh, I think I always knew it was gonna be something creative. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this year, 2024, is when that happened when we took over the cafe. As a college dropout, it feels like I'm living the American dream because our cafe, thankfully, is quite successful. And then this year, I also served on the jury. And then the cherry on top before this year ends is my right to vote. So this little immigrant Filipina girl just got to vote. I don't know, I'm just deep in thought because I think voting is obviously really important and I do not take it lightly. But I just can't believe I voted for the first time today. USA, USA. Okay, I'm heading out again because I have a drive up at Target. Oh shoot, Sheena parked in front of me. Never mind. Bye, Sheena. I've been on a hunt for a new employee. We recently just lost one on a break. And then we also are just getting a lot busier because obviously it is the fall season. And so even if it's my day off right now, I am needing to email some applicants that we've been keeping on the bench. Sheena just left, so now we can go. I'm gonna put latte in his kennel, and then we're gonna go to Target. Come on, buddy. Dad, one thing about me is I'm terrible at directions. Mm 
gonna drive. Okay, my trick when going to Target is literally just going. Sorry, yeah, that's singing. My trick when going to Target is literally going to the drive up because if I don't do drive up, I just know that I'm going to spend too much money. Both of these nails fell off, and I'm gonna literally put it on. And I heard really good things about this glue. <laughs> No, I heard this is like so good. So I wanted to also bring it for my trip to Japan. I got teaspoon, ube astra, with no creme brulee foam, and with oat milk. This thing is so good, y'all. It tastes so Filipino. It tastes like a tita made this in the back. Now I'm kind of hungry. I'm gonna get something from Panda. Okay, Panda secured. I'm just in a parking lot. I feel like most of this vlog is just in a car, but honestly, those are vibes. Here's my meal. It's lo mein with Beijing beef and orange chicken, but I'm hungry. Mm. I love their Beijing beef. I think it's their best. Entree. Let's have their lo mein. Mm. That's really dry. I just finished eating, kind of. And one of my favorite things about the Tesla is that I can open my trunk and put my food in there, and then my car doesn't smell for the rest of my time, like shopping. See? It's just in there. This is cute. $35 though. This looks like a cause bag. This is really what I'm here for. Oh, how cute. So cute. Okay, Latte is obs uh, not obsessed. He's allergic to chicken. Most of these have chicken though. Okay, this one is salmon. Might be good. I'm gonna get this one. Okay, friends, we're home now. And I have to do some work again. It just doesn't end. Hello. Hello. Oh. Say hi to the vlog. Hello. Hello, vlog. <laughs> okay, I'm turning off the camera. I have done so many things already. I emailed everyone back. I made graphics. I made ads that I needed to make. Now I am going to attempt to edit our website. I do all of the social media and all of the graphic design and like marketing. I do all of that for the shop on top of being the barista, on top of being the manager, on top of being the scheduler. So. It's a lot. It makes my job really fulfilling. It makes my job really fun, but it also almost makes it like a little bit impossible, if that makes sense. Sometimes I feel like I'm drowning. I have to be really honest about burning out. I experience burnout pretty often, but I think I am getting better at like determining when I'm getting close to burnout so that I can avoid it as much as possible. Yeah, there's that. Um, I'm gonna attempt to fix the website and then I will be back again. Taking a break now from working and I'm gonna eat. Sheena finally got home from work too. I'm tired, okay, bye-bye. I wanted to whip out the camera because I wanted to document today. It is now the next day. I'm just so exhausted. Two months of no break. I like to think that I'm trying a lot of things to prevent burnout, but somehow I just kind of feel down. The reality is though that life keeps going. 
and I have to do what I have to do. Anyway, I just wanted to update the vlog because I feel like I want to document this life <laughs> and I don't want to just show like the good parts, obviously. And I want whoever is out there who's maybe thinking of owning one or starting a business or starting a coffee shop or starting a cafe that this is um, very common. Like most of the business owners I have spoken to uh, go through these phases. Yeah, that's just something that again, I want to document and I want to share awareness about. Anyway, to quench my sadness, <laughs> I ordered teaspoon again. The same Ube Astra. I'm like obsessed with it. We recently um, just sold out of our Ube at the shop. Um, and we're probably not going to bring it back until next year, I mean. And then I also wanted to try out the new crumble cookies because... They're really good inspiration for the new flavors for our croffles. So I guess one could say I'm working right now, but this is the fun part of work. It's already... I do not want to go to work. I don't feel good. But here we are. It's also so gloomy outside. I think I'm just really stressed out. And I need a break. Okay, it'll be chill. I'll be fine. We'll get through it.